Good morning. I hope you're all doing well today. I wanted to share with you my little beastie boxes from Lettering Delights. They are just too adorable. I made about 35 of these little things. I did use the monster freebie that Lettering Delights gave away a couple, I think it was last Friday on Facebook. So if you're not a Facebook fan of theirs, get on it. You'll love it. They do offer some freebies only available from Facebook. So I would urge you if you're not in that whole scene to get in it so you can take part of it. All right, so what I'm going to do is show you how to ungroup an object. When you make 35 of these darling little things, they're not so darling after you change the paper 300 times. Now, of course, I am exaggerating. But, so what I've done is I've imported number three, which is that little bunny. But look over here on the right. There's the little fox, the little lion, gator dog. Really, really cute. I just couldn't tell you why, but Lettering Delights, when you ungroup theirs, they do break apart very nicely, so you're not left with just shapes that drive you nuts. Because sometimes, like, it will even take this little portion of the, of the, the teeth, and those objects are separated. Instead of just there being a cutout, it would be shapes that are stuck on there. So it takes it back to where you don't want it. So I've imported the little bunny. I'm going to select this object, get my little selector key, and go up and ungroup it. And what I'm going to do is just start turning off all the parts, like I've showed you before. And I'm left with the back portion of the decoration for the little bag. The bag is separate. Um, that's within there, but you, you're going to cut that out separate. And yeah, I can fit about three of those on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Now, all I've done is selected it. I'm going to right click on it, copy, and paste. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is do these two copy, paste. And now, if I just want to add two more and two more and two more. I just click paste. it will keep doing it. But I'm kind of lazy so I'll just bound the whole box, all of the objects together and get them all done. They're going to be separate objects. They're not grouped together so you can move them around. Now you see I've just gotten 12 of these little beasties on there. And I thought I miscounted for a second. And you just line it up always check your your preview, your cut preview before you print these out just to make sure that you got them all lined up because it would just be heartbreaking. See, do you see right here? And let me get closer and I'll show you how that portion is going to be cut off. See? That would be sad if you got all this done and you had to do it again. So, we're just going to nudge it over. Now, this allows you to print all of those on one sheet of paper. You don't have to change the paper a bunch of times. You just do them all at one time. So now, you would cut it. You can create another, another page. I did this earlier, so I'm just going to go and create some more. I'll get copy, paste. There you go. So this will allow you to cut each single portion of this little bunny, including the eyes, the mask, the ears, and you can do it all on one piece of paper. If you do 12, you know what I mean. So there you are. You can assemble them all at one time. You can have your own little sweatshop going on in your little craft room or your craft desk. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please contact me. I would be more than happy to answer any questions. I hope you have a great weekend. Bye-bye.